Petey the Cat is the biggest and most feared villain in the incredible universe of Dogman. It's time to stop this super cop! But did you know that behind this evil cat lies a story of abandonment, revenge, forgiveness, and love? Pretty evil! <laughs> if you're familiar with the stories of Dogman, you know that Petey is a striped cat thirsty for evil who was responsible for creating the very hero Dogman. As the movie will show, this happened when the villain placed a bomb in the city. Officer Knight and the dog Greg tried to disarm it, but it didn't work, leading to a big explosion. Both were severely injured, so Knight's body was fused with Greg's head, and thus Dogman was born. So yes, in this villain's story, we also see the hero's origin. Crazy, right? But before all that happened, we can say that Petey had a difficult childhood. In Dogman, Lord of the Fleas, we learn a lot about Petey's life story through several flashbacks. Like many villains, Petey didn't have an easy life. When he was just a kitten, he was abandoned by his father. Grace, Petey's mother, did her best to raise him, and without anywhere to go, the two ended up in a shelter called Happy Home, where they stayed for years. Petey's entire childhood was spent in that shelter alongside his mother. Before being abandoned by his father, Petey wasn't evil. He was even part of the Critter Scouts, which was like a scout camp for baby animals. They played baseball and learned survival skills. Petey enjoyed the place and did everything he could to be good. But one day, a mess occurred, and he and the other kids were left alone by the camp monitors. Since they were so young, chaos quickly erupted. However, when the monitor returned and saw the mess, he was furious, and a group of pups unjustly accused Petey. As a result, the poor cat was expelled, but that didn't go unpunished. Petey joined another camp group and did everything he could to strike back at those who falsely accused him. In the end, the Critter Scouts were shut down, but this wouldn't be the last time these characters would meet. That's because the group that wrongly blamed Petey were Piggy, Crunky, and Bub, those who would later become Fleas, the fuzzy little evil animal squad. And they would harm Petey once again, as we'll explain in this video. So get on board with the new Cinewave. The Striped Cat's father was never good. He was always very abusive toward Grace and Petey, and although it's never explicitly stated, everyone knows he was the one who injured Petey's tail, which is why it has that curved tip. When Petey was injured, Grace took him to the doctor, and while they were at the hospital, his father sold the house and left. Yes, besides being an abusive father, he was also responsible for leaving Grace and Petey homeless. After losing their home, mother and son continued living in a shelter for years. It was a tough situation, and Petey had bouts of anger due to the difficulties he faced alongside his mother and the injustices and abuse committed by his father. Grace always forgave her son when he had these angry outbursts. Unfortunately, years passed, and Petey's mother became ill and passed away when he was a teenager. Continuing the tale of the future villain's suffering in Super Diaper Baby 2, we find out that after becoming an orphan, Petey lived in an orphanage until he was recruited by Dr. Dilbert Dinkle, a thief. Dilbert and Petey committed several crimes in the city. They invaded Jim's bank and stole a machine that turns objects and beings into water. However, Petey accidentally turned Dilbert into water and once again accidentally broke the machine, making it impossible to revert the doctor back into human form. They continued committing some crimes, but Super Diaper Baby eventually defeated them and the villain was imprisoned. While serving his sentence, Petey decided to change. In prison, he worked and read many books, becoming very intelligent. As soon as he was released, he tried to find an honest job, but couldn't. So Petey returned to a life of crime, becoming known as the most evil cat in the world. Of course, he became even more evil when confronted by Dogman. Besides Dogman always thwarting his plans, they are also dog and cat. And as we all know, that's an age-old rivalry. If you're curious to know more about Petey's story and are enjoying the video so far, comment hashtag Petey down below. But Petey's life wasn't all tragedy and villainy. For years, Petey lived as a terrible villain, only wanting to do evil, destroy, and steal, but everything changed when Little Petey came into his life. Well, actually, Lil Petey didn't just show up, he was created by Petey himself, who wanted a clone to help him commit more crimes. Yes, at that point, Petey was completely out of control. However, Lil Petey was born, and he was the complete opposite of what Petey expected. The kitten was kind, innocent, fun, and wanted to help everyone. Lil Petey called Petey dad because that's how he saw him. When Petey realized his creation wasn't going to fulfill his evil desires, he simply abandoned the kitten. But fortunately, the innocent kitten was adopted by the town's hero, Dogman, who taught him all the good things. The hero and Lil Petey got along so well that they formed a group of heroes called the Super Buddies. ADHD also joined the group. So, this trio fights evil in this universe. While all of this was happening, Petey watched from afar. 
After all, he had abandoned Little Petey to his own fate, and having experienced abandonment himself, the striped cat knew how much it hurt to be alone. Petey began to rethink his entire life and regretted the bad things he had done. After all, the little clone reminded him of when he was a child, and he wanted to be good. Little Petey represented everything Petey could have been if he had followed the path of goodness. They even looked very similar, as Little Petey is Petey's clone, but as a child. In Dogman Lord of the Fleas, the black striped cat says to Little Petey, If you knew the horrible things I've done, the horrible, unforgivable things, I am simply completely evil. That's all everyone expects from me. We can see that Petey himself struggles to forgive himself, which is why he doesn't consider himself worthy of being the father of someone who's so good. But even so, Lil Petey forgives his creator, and this love makes the striped cat reconsider all of his decisions. He's on the verge of giving up being a villain, but of course, just when Petey was about to live peacefully, trouble found him. Petey always tells Lil Petey to stop calling him dad and pretends to be irritated by it, but the truth is, he gets emotional and really feels a fatherly affection for the little kitten. But as we mentioned, the fleas return to Petey's story and hit him where it hurts. Just as Petey is about to turn good, the feared group of villains appears and tries to take Lil Petey away. But when Petey realizes he might lose his kitten, the ex-villain takes Lil Petey out of town. They're on the run, but the little clone insists that he won't leave without saving Chief, Millie, Sarah, Zuzu, and the other townspeople, who have also been captured by the villains. Since he doesn't want to be separated from his little one, Petey agrees to return for the rescue mission. The problem is, Petey isn't very prepared to save the day since his plan was to run far away. The only weapon the cat has is a very old ray shooter with only two shots left. Well, it's the only weapon available, so Petey decides to use it. He warns Lil Petey that he needs to aim carefully to hit the villains, reminding the kitten that he only has two shots left. However, Lil Petey, being clumsy, distracts Petey and the plan goes wrong. They are almost caught by the villains, but Dogman and ADHD show up to help. Even Lil Petey puts on his hero suit and helps in the fight against the villains, who are defeated. After all this, Petey tries to live a normal life with Lil, whom he starts raising as his own son. At one point, while recounting his past, he tells the kitten about his father, and innocently, Lil Petey tries to reconnect with his grandfather, hoping he's a good person. The elderly cat returns to Petey's life only to confirm what everyone already knew. He's terrible! He belittles Petey and Lil Petey, steals all their belongings, and ends up getting arrested. In prison, when Petey and Lil Petey visit him, the elderly cat uses gas to knock them both unconscious and escapes by disguising himself as Petey. He escapes in disguise, but before that, he dresses up his own son so everyone believes Petey is the prisoner. The father's intention was to leave his son imprisoned in his place. What a father of the year! All this happens in Dogman Fetch 22. Because of Lil's grandfather, Petey almost gets imprisoned unfairly, but fortunately, in the end, his father is recaptured, and the striped cat is freed, returning to live happily with his little kitten. And after so many years of rage and destruction, Petey ends his story transformed. He's no longer the most evil cat in the world, but someone good, completely changed and happy, raising his son, Lil Petey. Petey's life really is full of ups and downs. I can't wait to see all of this in the movie next year. We've selected two really cool videos that have everything to do with you, so you can keep enjoying fun content here with us. Just choose the one you like the most and click on it. Thanks, enjoy your video.